All right, now Charleston White is a controversial figure in hip hop, but what I bet y'all didn't know is that me and him are from the same city. And what I bet y'all also didn't know is that Charleston White gave me my first opportunity to speak to kids at a school. So all my graphic design people, in this video, I'ma show you how to draw Charleston White in Illustrator and how to draw any face in Illustrator for that matter. And I'm gonna use a technique that I learned a while back. Let's jump right into it. All right, so usually when you do this, I'm on his Facebook page right now and Usually when you do this, you're going to need like a clear, a good facial shot of somebody. So I'm going to go ahead and use this image. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to take it to Illustrator right now. If you don't have Illustrator, it's a part of the Adobe Cloud Suite. But if you are a graphic designer and you're searching this video out, I'm pretty sure you have it already. So let's go ahead and copy that in and I'm going to blow it up a little bit to where his face is big on the canvas. And then I'm gonna hit Command 2 or Control 2 if you're on a Windows to kind of lock this image, right? So that's the very first step. We got his face kind of centered on the canvas, right? Now, you're gonna come over here to your Shape tool and you want the Ellipse tool. You're gonna change this to black and you're gonna create an oval. Then you're gonna select A to kind of put it in anchor point mode. Select these anchor points, select one, hold Shift, select the other one and then this button right here convert selected anchor ports points to corner you're going to select that right so now this is what you should have you're going to come over here to your brushes because that's what we're doing we're creating a brush to kind of give that artistic like drawn look and you're going to come over here and simply drag this over to brushes it's going to ask you what kind of brush you want an art brush so you're gonna hit art brush and hit okay. This pretty much tells you the direction. And now we have our brush, so we can kind of move this out of the way. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to our layers panel, and we're gonna open that, right? We're gonna create a new layer because this needs to be above this. And we're gonna name this layer line art, all right? And so with this brush selected, you're literally gonna hit B, which is select the brush tool for you, or you can come over here and click this. And then just to show you, you're gonna start drawing, right? Like that's an ear. Now that's too thick of a stroke, so I think I'm gonna go downward a little bit to about 0.5, and then that's where it is. So I'm gonna do this, and I'm gonna outline his entire face. And just a piece of free game. When you're doing this, a lot of the times, you're, you're gonna have to pick up your stroke. However, if you do that, you'll kind of get that type of thing. And sometimes we want that. So a free game is to start your stroke here, inside of it, and then boom. You'll kind of get more of what you're looking for, right? So I'm gonna actually come thicken that up a little bit because the overall outline of his face does need to be kind of thick. So let's finish Let's finish outlining. And also, when you're doing this, make sure your lines are closing, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come over here to the anchor point selection tool, and I'm gonna bring this, and I'm just gonna bring this up a little bit so that it closes, right? And you need your lines to close. I also want to kind of fix this. I want this line, to, there we go. Be like that. And let's finish this face. Now, also, the details on the, on the face don't need to be as thick as these lines, right? So these can get thinner, get thinner these can get way thinner and i might not even use i might not even do this i might change the nose up now for the lips as well i want to show y'all some you're going to double click right here on the brush and then i want to turn this up one notch to smooth because you know things like lips and eyes and stuff like that you kind of want to be precise even if it's not the actual shape of what you're tracing, right? Like you see how smooth that line came out. All 
And then for the teeth, I'm gonna actually switch to a regular brush because logistically this type of brush don't make sense for teeth. And that is coming right along. So now we're gonna do the eyes. We're gonna use our regular brush for things like this. We're gonna make it really thin. draw the eyes and I think I might use a regular brush too so if you already drew it and then you want to use a regular brush you just select it come over here and then do it this way right you definitely want the eyes super pronounced so you can turn that stroke up a lot and now we have eyes and so now to draw like the pupils of the eye we're actually just gonna use like a regular circle. We're gonna use a regular circle. So you come over here to the ellipse tool. You got a lot of different shapes. If you long press it, we want the ellipse tool though. And then we're just gonna hit shift and drag this out and then kind of try to place it as real as possible. I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. And I'm actually gonna show y'all another trick, right? Because realistically, his whole pupil isn't showing. Like, if you see it, it's cut off at the top. So we're gonna simulate that by coming over here and doing that, right? And then we're gonna select all of this. And you can do that by literally clicking and dragging anywhere on the screen where there isn't data. And then boom, highlight that, go over here to the shape builder hit option or alt and then boom just take that part off and so now you see we've kind of got that cut off eye look and the same thing here right so we still got a way to go but this is starting to shape up so we got to do some eyebrows i'd usually just go to the brush tool i'm going to use a regular brush for this I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna take my other brush, take that down, and then I'm just gonna kind of simulate eyebrows real quick. This is much easier to do if you have like a pencil, like an Apple pencil or something like that. So now it's time to draw details, right? The details, we're talking about the ears. We're going to put his earrings on here, and then we're going to draw his goatee. And we might even do some details like this. Because they're there. Right? All right, so now I'm just gonna double check, make sure I'm not missing anything that I might wanna do. Oh, I'm gonna add kind of some of those like hair marks like I was showing you earlier. I add some of those. And you know what? That's good, right? So now here comes the fun part, right? So you're gonna select the whole thing and you're gonna do that by hitting con command A or control A. You're gonna come over here to object, expand appearance. Then you're gonna do it again, come over here to expand. 
and then with all of that selected you're gonna go up here to the pathfinder if you don't have it so this one is unite this is gonna make all these black lines is gonna make them all one thing right so you're gonna hit that and now this is all one thing right so it's coming along good the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna take this open it up and when I'm gonna hit I that's the eyedropper tool and that just allows you to sample colors and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna sample maybe something like this right as a skin tone for him and I'm gonna make a circle over it and then I'm gonna come over here and place that circle behind it right next thing I'm gonna do and I'm gonna select it all and then hit divide on the pathfinder right this is gonna now make it a group so you're going to come over here ungroup and then start just remove this outer and now you got different parts of this that can be manipulated as far as the color right so like his earrings i'm going to do kind of a light gray for now the eyes are obviously going to be white and what you're also going to do is you're going to come down and find all the colors and it's honestly best if you do this prior. Select all the color layers and drag them down to this layer. So now the line art is isolated by itself. So let's continue. We're gonna make this hat kind of a, not black, but dark gray. Then I'm gonna turn this off to grab kind of a color for the lips. We're gonna adjust this color a little bit and go right there. Select it, copy this color code. And see now we have a problem because I thought I made sure this was closed, but I guess I did not. But don't worry, there is a fix. I'm gonna hit A. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna bring it up there. And now it's its own thing. So we're gonna come over here, match that top color. We're gonna do a black mouth, or maybe not a full black, but. And then of course we're gonna do white teeth. And then boom, here we are right here. Now, honestly, this already looks good, but we're not going to stop here. What makes these type of cartoons is the shadows, right? So you're going to make a new layer, entitle it Shadows, and then you're going to kind of look at his face. Now, this is honestly a part that I still kind of struggle with. However, the more you do it, the better you will get. So this time I'm going to use the pencil tool, which is in, and I'm going to just kind of draw... And the crazy part is, is you could do like you see how I'm just zigzagging and whatnot. You could literally do that. Right. And now I have that shape. So I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to for now give it the eyedropper tool. So it kind of blends in now. But you're going to come over here and you're simply just going to slide down a little bit. And now we've got a forehead shadow, right? And so we're gonna pretty much repeat this method for the whole time. Now to add a realistic detail, let me hide this line art. You kind of see he's got some grays here and there, right? So how we're gonna simulate that just to kind of make it look a little more real is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come over here. We're going to make a black and no, actually we're going to make a gradient. It doesn't matter which gradient and we're going to make that same kind of thing. Right. And then we're going to come over here to the gradient tool and we're going to add a gradient slider. And we want that to be gray and we want both sides of this 
to be black to kind of blend in and I'm gonna do a brighter gray now that I see that right so I'm gonna smush it down a little bit because I want it to be thin same process hit a which puts you in anchor point mode and then I'm gonna close that then I'm gonna actually come to object expand hit okay it's gonna tell you specify that many objects yes come over here to your brush in the same process art brush and now we have this brush so let me show you what happens when you do this brush and so we're gonna create a layer over line art and kind of call it grays and what happens is is when you do it with that brush you kind of get that right but we don't want it that thick we want it like that right so I'm just gonna kind of put some in here randomly and I'm gonna make it really small actually and so now you see he's got some grays scattered in there so another touch I like to add is kind of adding the white in the eye so I'm gonna come over here change this to white you put that there you put that there and now boom we've got his face right so now let's do something with these earrings we come over here kind of give them like a gradient just to simulate some sort of shine and then we're gonna do our best to recreate this it doesn't have to be perfect but it's never ignorant getting goals accomplished okay I'm gonna come over here make this black we're gonna switch to a rectangle and we're gonna make just a regular rectangle we're gonna change the stroke white and then we're gonna boost it up a little bit and then we're gonna make our text tool and we're gonna write it out just like he's got it so never ignore ant getting goals accomplished and then we're gonna pump up that we're gonna center it and then we're gonna find a font that kind of matches I mean we it will take us a while to try to match that font exactly but we're gonna do it yeah we're gonna do it in this font just because and let's blast that up again and then we're gonna change this text to white place that on there and then you're gonna drag all of this and group it now why you need to group it is because we're gonna kind of bend it on the hat a little bit and let's move this up to the top layer which with we could put that with the grays right and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to object envelope distort envelope distort make with warp you're gonna come over here to arch and then we're gonna bring this arch down a little bit I like 15 as a number right there and then we're gonna simply scale this down to fit his hat we're also gonna select this rectangle and bring this stroke down a little cuz it ain't that defined boom so now we've got Charleston white we we have a profile shot of Ch Charleston white in cartoon so you could take this put any type of background on it and you've got your cartoon so let me know what y'all think about this in the comments it's your boy rico i'm out let's get it